When I went vegan, uh, I remember there were about like two restaurants, very simple ones, not the ones that I could have write about uh, for the uh, gastronomic magazine I was working for at the time. I had a lot of money on the side, that was from some of the other things. You were surprised if I had to buy a house, or to do something different. And we decided together that it would be nice to open the city of Ivonit. At that time, we were thinking about how to do these things. The city of Zakim was actually a buy, it was a buy, and we decided that we were going to go on this side. It was right, it was right. First of all, I opened open in Israel because I believe that the soil here uh, grow the best vegetables. And I really like the culture of Tel Aviv. It's free, it's yet down to earth. And I like the vibe, I like living here. It's probably one of my favorite cities in the world. In 2014, about two years after I came here, uh, as, as far as veganism, there was this huge explosion. Uh, this one speech. Today we're going to talk about the world's forgotten victims, animals, and the world's oldest and strongest addiction, meat. From America I got to Israel, and this one speech says to have changed 100,000 Israelis, and then this vegan activist won a TV show all in 2014. You saw Vegan Friendly and all these other organizations coming up, um, and all of a sudden, Tel Aviv was just becoming this vegan haven out of the blue. From 2015 to till today, I think there was a, a big shift in veganism in Israel. It still continued to grow, but from vegans that were really active and passionate about promoting veganism through uh, the suffering of animals, it kind of shifted to more like lifestyle veganism. החוויה הטבעונית בתל אביב היא חוויה של, של שפע. יש אין ספור של, של אופציות, בין אם זה מוויגן ג'אנק פוד, וויגן פיצה, עד ל... לאנסטסיה. Coming to Tel Aviv today as a vegan, it's full of surprises, and I think the best thing is that, that veganism is so accessible. The fact that you don't need to look for vegan options or look for a vegan restaurant, that Everywhere, anywhere you, anywhere you enter, you have uh, vegan food, and of course you always have falafel and hummus, but beside of that, you have so much great vegan Tel Aviv and Israeli food, wherever you go. There's something about Tel Aviv that drew me, the, the simplicity of the people and the warmth and the fact that it's not a, it's like an up-and-coming city that people talk about, but yet not have yet discovered. It's not like, you know, going to Barcelona that it's only um, tourists. So I think it's like a culinary pearl waiting to be discovered and hopefully it will be. We got the best smoothies, the freshest produce, some of the best vegan restaurants in the whole world. And the culinary level in Tel Aviv is like generally so high and it didn't change with the veganism. Like they just took it to another level. אני מרגישה שאני תורמת לעולם הטבעוני, אני מרגישה שאני חלק מקבוצה של אנשים שמובילים עולם חדש, מהפכה קולינרית, וזה ממלא אותי בהרבה מאוד גאווה ושמחה. I traveled all over the world, and to me I feel like Tel Aviv is the best city to, to be in for vegans, because you have an abundance of vegan options in menus. All the restaurants, even if they don't have a huge vegan uh, menu, they know about the, their vegan options in the restaurant. You have every day, literally every day, new vegan options hitting the supermarkets. You have lots of organizations that promote veganism that you can volunteer if you want. You have the biggest animal rights march in history that was in Tel Aviv, the biggest vegan festival in Tel Aviv. For me, at least as a vegan, it's nice to go to places where people recognize what it is and you also have options and they respect it and understand it. A lot of places in the world, I mean, you can go and you can say vegan and they think it's vegetarian or they think you can have eggs. And here it's just great because you tell them they're vegan, they know what it is, that's it. We do see a lot of people in Tel Aviv who are not necessarily strictly vegan. They do eat a lot of plant-based. They do reduce. They, there's a lot of awareness because this is considered to be a progressive uh, city or whatever. You, you see that. You see that all the time. 
It's the coolest city. I, it's home to us. I mean, we're originally from Jerusalem, but Tel Aviv just has something so special about it. I think also all the people that come and visit Tel Aviv, they always say something about the people and the vibe and the warmth. And it's just a cool city and I love it and I can't imagine myself living anywhere else. Just, it's amazing to live here. <laughs>